I put my makeup on. I put my makeup on. I do a little jig with Duke. <laughs> no, we don't do any of that stuff. We just crank. We play a lot of loud music. There are no high fives backstage or, uh, you know, let's, let's go, let's rock or anything like that. We, uh, <laughs> we just uh, hang out. We listen to some music, really loud music. <laughs>
Yeah, we have a number of fans who uh, follow us from show to show. We, there's, uh, there's a few that uh, have, have not given up yet. And uh, <laughs> we see them out in the crowd sometimes or in the parking lot or Hotel. wherever. Hotel, yeah. So, um, but uh, we have great fans. They're 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 uh, they're not stalkers or anything like that. They're they're very friendly and polite. So it's all right. MTV.
Rules when we report. Watch my temper, or I go mental. I'll try to be gentle when I go. Aber in der Zwischenzeit ist natürlich eine Menge passiert. Die neue Platte ist rausgekommen. Dafür haben sie aber sehr, sehr lange im Studio gesessen. The new record finally got released. I know it got put back and put back and put back because you yeah. spent so long working on it in the studio, working on mixes. Now, I was talking earlier to Asian Dub Foundation and they said that uh, you'd offered them one of the tracks to remix, but they didn't have the time. Yeah. What I was going to ask was, I mean, if you spent so long working on a project, is it easy to then give it to somebody and say, you go ahead now, remix it, do what you want, or do you still feel you want to have control over what, what they're going to be doing? Actually, we would love, we love doing that because it's, it's really fun to see somebody else's perspective on something that you've gotten so focused on that, um, and you know, put so much care into, and, and then to have somebody else sort of reinterpret it is, is fun for us. I think if we, um, I don't know, if we were another band, maybe the, we would be more precious about the music and, and not want anybody else. A lot of bands don't want other people to mess with their stuff, you know. But I don't know, it's really enjoyable for us to see somebody, you know, something like Goldie or Tricky or somebody come along and completely reinvent, reinvent what, you, what we do. 
Also Sie haben es ganz gerne eigentlich, wenn andere Leute die Möglichkeit haben, die Sachen neu abzumischen, ob das jetzt tricky ist oder ob das goldie ist, Sie haben keine Probleme damit, das abzugeben und zu sagen, mach was ganz Neues daraus. For the singer, of course, it's always a bit problematic, because a lot of people that make remixes tend to throw away all the lyrics or mix them I'm way all back. All about that. I'm all about that. In fact, we, we actually just recently had a remix done by Crystal Method and they sent us a version of the remix and it was like, there's too many vocals, go back and redo it. So they redid it without very many vocals. I mean, we find it exciting. We don't, we're not precious about what remixers do and we're big fans of Asian Dub Foundation, but you know, we would have loved them to do, to do a remix and whether they use my vocals or not, I don't give a toss. <laughs> Also es gab zuletzt eine neue Abmischung von The Crystal Method. Und als es fertig war, haben Gabi sich das angehört und haben gesagt, es wird viel zu viel gesungen auf dieses Stück. Und normalerweise natürlich bei Remixes versucht man etwas anderes zu machen und es ist meistens so, dass der Sänger oder die Sängerin dann nicht so oft zu hören ist. Und Shirley hat selbst gesagt, mach das neu, ich will nicht so oft auf dieses Stück, auf diese Remix zu hören sein. But let's come back a minute to when you were recording the record. I mean, what actually did take so long? I mean, presumably, because listening to it, it doesn't sound like it took so long. That's the interesting thing about it. Um, yeah, I mean, I don't think in, in the great scheme of things it did take that long. I mean, in the course of a year, we finished touring, we had a holiday, we went in and wrote the record, we then recorded it and then mixed it all in the course of a year, which I don't think is excessive. Because most bands, they, you know, they, they, they write, they demo, or they, yeah, they, they write, they demo, then they re-record the demo, and, and you know, it, it takes as much time over the course of time from when they started writing, you know, by the time they're finished, I'm sure it's about a year. I mean, we're in no rush. We knew we had to come up with a solid follow-up to our first album because it did so well and we didn't want to come out with something substandard. Also Shirley meinte, dass sie eigentlich nicht so unter Druck gestanden haben und dass das Ganze eigentlich nicht so lange gedauert hat. Wenn man das alles zusammenzählt, das war vielleicht ein Jahr. Sie waren vorher auf Tour, dann haben sie Urlaub gemacht, dann haben sie angefangen zu schreiben, sind ins Studio gegangen und haben dann natürlich zum Schluss alles neu abgemischt. Aber insgesamt, wenn man das alles zusammenzählt, war das vielleicht nur einem Jahr. Does that mean, though, that a lot of things were left out? I mean, did you spend time recording things that you then said, okay, we'll save these for later, we'll put these on B-sides or whatever? Yeah, I think it'd be impossible to write just, well, on this album we have 12 songs, so you can't just sit down and write 12 great songs. And so, at least for us, we had to write like 25 or something. And gradually, as you're working on them, the, the lesser songs, the ones that aren't quite so strong, sort of drop out of the running and people grow less interested in them. And uh, you end up, you know, when you get 12 songs done, that's when the album's done. So yeah, we've got a lot of stuff that's sitting in the closet that we'll use someday. Also hinzu kommt, dass sie nicht nur zwölf Songs aufgenommen haben für diese Platte. Die Platte hat nur zwölf Songs. Sie haben insgesamt mehr als 25 Songs aufgenommen, waren mit allen Songs nicht zufrieden, aber sie haben noch eine Menge, was vielleicht in Zukunft noch veröffentlicht werden könnte. What about the collaboration itself, um, Shirley? Is it that the, you write all the lyrics or do you find that you're working uh, with the others collaborating on the words as well occasionally? No, I wrote like 99.9% of the words on this record. Nobody wanted to contribute, or they were just so happy with what you came up with. I think that's my role in the in the in the band. You know, I was left to my own devices, the same way that they're left to their their own devices to a certain degree. So. Also Shirley hat im Grunde alles selbst geschrieben, also alle Texte selbst. Ich habe gefragt, ob die anderen da Einfluss genommen haben. Sie hat gesagt, eigentlich nicht, weil das ist ihre Rolle in der Band, alles selbst zu schreiben. Which means that basically, I, I guess. The, the lyrics are done first. I mean, a lot of bands tend to come up with, with riffs, with ideas for music. Or is it that way with the band no. too? Yeah, they come across a multitude of ways. Sometimes they're... Most of the words came with the band, as in we were in, like jamming together. Um, but some of them all come up with an, like a melody and on a, an acoustic guitar, or um, you know, we're, we've been working on something musically and I'll come in and add the words. It depends. We have no rules, really. We just do it any which way. But they were written very much with you being there. I mean, you weren't writing these songs away from the band somewhere and coming to them. You were all in Wisconsin while you were writing? Of course, yeah. Okay. Now, I was just wondering, because, I mean, it could have been that, you know, you've been off somewhere on your own, you come up with lyrics and came back to the band and said, okay, I've got these songs. But it was more a question of on a day-to-day -day basis, you come in and say what, you, what you've got completed and stuff. We do all our writing in the studio. Everything's done. Uh, the studio is part of what we do. It's like another instrument. Also sie hat gesagt, die haben alles im Grunde doch zusammen gemacht, indem man alles im Studio geschrieben hat, alles wird im Studio komponiert. Es ist nicht so, als ob sie irgendwo anders gewesen ist, hat Texte geschrieben, kam dann zurück. Alles wurde im Studio gemacht. Was it a relief to get out of the studio? Was it a relief to yes. come and play live? Yeah, it's great. Um, 
you know, we love doing that, but it's, it's like a cycle. You know, you love doing that for a while, and then you get sick of that, and now we want to do this, which is playing live and touring the world, and we're going to be doing this for about two years probably. And uh, so far it's been really fun, you know, to get to see places like this and get out of the house. It's, it's, it's great. Also sie sind froh jetzt endlich mal, dass die Platte fertig ist, dass sie jetzt unterwegs sind. Sie werden insgesamt, so wie das aussieht, zwei Jahre lang jetzt unterwegs sein, um nur live zu spielen. And thanks very much, both of you. you. Enjoy the tour. If it's going to be two years, that is a long tour. Yeah, it'll be fun though. Which means we'll have to wait even longer for the third record. Okay, <laughs> we'll live with it. Thanks. Okay.